Hi children, how are you? Hope you are all doing good, right? Fine. Shall we start our session today? Very good. So before going to the session, let's we start this with prayer. Right? Very good children. So, close your eyes. Join your hands. Stay calm. And listen to me what I am saying. Asatoma asat gamaya Tamasoma jodir gamaya Mrityoma amirdam gamaya Om Shanti 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 Fine children, now slowly open your eyes. Be relaxed, stay calm, don't th think about anything, right? Just relax. Fine, very good. So, shall we start our session today, children? Nice. So, in this session, we are going to revise the topics. Those were discussed in previous sessions, right? So, what we were discussed in previous sessions, children? What is the chapter name? The chapter name is Digestive System. Very good. So, the topics discussed are Digestion, Organs for Digestion, then Detailed description about mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine and large intestine, liver and pancreas, right? Very good. So, what is digestion? It is the process in which the food we eat will be broken down into simple form to produce energy, right? So, organs for digestions, digestion are mouth, esophagus, Stomach, small intestine and large intestine, liver and pancreas. Right. So, with the help of mouth, we cut and chew the food properly. Then, the saliva present in the mouth makes the food wet and soft so that we can swallow easily. Right. The saliva will be produced by salivary gland. Very good. So, coming to esophagus it is a long muscular tube what is it it is a long muscular tube connecting mouth and stomach so through the esophagus the foot travels downwards and reaches the stomach for digestion the foot pipe is also known as esophagus could you get children Right. So, coming to stomach. Inside the stomach, there is some digestive liquid will present. With the help of that liquid, the food will get digested into a thick paste. And then, it will be sent to small intestine for further digestion. In small intestine, the digestive liquids from liver and pancreas makes the food to digest well and the nutrients from the food will be absorbed. The remaining undigested food will sent to large intestine. Right, in large intestine, the remaining water will be reabsorbed and the solid waste is sent as feces through anus. In this process, liver and pancreas play an important role. Liver filters harmful substance from blood and produce bile juice. Whereas, pancreas helps in the production of pancreatic juice which digest carbohydrates, fats and proteins in our food. Right children? So, these are the topics we discussed in the last previous sessions. Fine. So, now we are going to discuss about the 
questions in our workbook okay for the next session i am going to conduct a small test from this chapter so for that we have to prepare well all right so the first question is what is the role of bile and pancreatic juice in the digestion of food what is the role children the bile juice and the pancreatic juice helps in the digestion of carbohydrates proteins and fats in our food right bile juice is produced by liver whereas pancreas juice is produced by pancreas very good so the next question is explain the path of fruit that you love to eat from your mouth till it reaches the large intestine right so what is the path children it starts from mouth then the food reaches the esophagus then stomach then after that it reaches the small intestine and then finally it reaches the large intestine this is the path the food travel okay so next question is differentiate between the functions of small and large intestine right small intestine it absorbs nutrients from the food okay and in large intestine it absorbs water from the undigested food okay this is the difference between small intestine and large intestine coming to the next question why is it necessary to break down the food we eat from complex to simple form why it is children in order to digest well so that it is necessary to break down the food into simple form okay so that the produce can it can produce energy could you get it very good so coming to the next question even though salivary glands liver and pancreas are not the main digestive organs they are necessary for proper functioning of digestive system why they are not main digestive organs children do you know that yes but they are important in the proper functioning of digestive system why what's the reason since salivary glands secretes saliva to make the food wet and soft so that we can easily swallow this is the first point and coming to liver and pancreas they produce digestive juices namely bile juice and pancreatic juice for the digestion of carbohydrates fats and proteins in the food and also liver filters the harmful substance from blood for these reasons salivary glands liver and pancreas are considered as main for the functioning of digestive system right very good so coming to the next question how does the food travel down the digestive tract even when you are eating while lying on the bed right it is the nature of food pipe to move the food downwards right so while we are lying on the bed if we eat the food will travel downwards right this is the answer for this question so coming to the 10th question suggest some measures that can be taken for maintaining a healthy digestive system what are the tips children for healthy digestion very, very good we have to eat at regular interval of time we must eat slowly and chew the food properly we have to drink lot of liquid like water and juices we must add fruits vegetables cereals pulses in our daily diet and the final point is most important one we must avoid junk food and excessive intake of tea and coffee by following these measures we can have healthy digestive system right very good so coming to the final section of this session children so 
prepare well for the exam and do the exam well right prepare well all the best till then stay connected and stay safe bye we can meet in the next session right bye